All right, so here we go. This is a beginner-friendly spray, spray paint art space painting tutorial thing. I did this painting earlier in uh, my live class on TikTok Live, uh, but for those of you who wanted to go over the steps again, or maybe you missed the class, or maybe you didn't know it existed and you're brand new around here, we're just, we're gonna do it again. We're gonna do it again. This is gonna be a four planet uh, space painting, and you can use whatever colors that you'd like. I just recommend that you have at least black, white, and clear spray paint. Uh, you're also gonna obviously need a thing to paint on, so I have a poster board here. You can also use canvas. I just recommend that you prime it, or you get one that comes pre-primed if you're using canvas. Now you're also gonna need some either magazine pages or newspaper type paper. Four planet stencils, like cups, bowls, lids, or even spray cans themselves. And grab yourself some scrap poster. We're gonna, we're gonna make some tools out of this. And last but certainly not least, spray paint is toxic. It's not good for you. You should definitely, at the very least, paint outside. But you should definitely pick yourself up a paint respirator if this is going to become a uh, normal hobby for you. And you should also protect your skin and wear some, some gloves. So what you want to do is you want to take your four planet stencils uh, and you just want to go ahead and, and put them one in each corner. I do recommend if you have, if you're working on something smaller, you might want to consider taking away two. You might want to consider only using two planets here. Uh, but go ahead and put one in each corner. And I also recommend, we're going to be doing planet rings, which can be a little tricky. Uh, so the way that, that we're going to make this as easy as possible, we're going to take one of the planets and move them so it's like partially off canvas. Do whatever you want for the rest of them. Once you're happy with the positioning, you want to go ahead and take some spray paint, some black spray paint or dark spray paint, and just outline these real quick. So we know exactly where our planets are going to go. This is going to help us make sure that the we don't use too little paint or too much. Go ahead and lift them up. For each planet, we're going to go ahead and use a different technique. Okay, so we're going to, we're going to start with the classic planet, right? So go ahead and grab whatever colors that you want. The only rule that I like to follow here for this classic technique, it's just what I think looks best, is you start with the lightest color that you have and then go to the darkest. Lighter to darker. That's, that's, it's just what I prefer, okay? So I'm gonna be using yellow and red. I'm gonna start with, oh, I'm sorry, it's lime. I forgot about that. Lime would be the lighter color than red though. I'm just gonna fill in the whole circle and then I'm gonna go ahead and just top it off with my darker color, whatever that color may be. You could do like two or three layers. I think that's like the sweet spot per se. Uh, but after you have your color down, what you want to, what you could do now, is top it off with either black, white, or both. I'm just gonna do black. Just go ahead, and top it off. Now you want to make sure that this paint is still wet, which is where the clear coat comes in handy. Just want to go ahead and spray that down. It'll re-wet the paint for you. Magazine or your newspaper type uh, paper. Crumple it up and uncrumple. Now we have all those wrinkles in there. That's exactly what we're looking for. Just go ahead, place it, and lift it. Place it, swipe it, pat it down, whatever whatever you wanna do, and then lift. And if you're unhappy with your results, or you're not feeling it, whatever, just do it again. Go ahead, place your colors or your layers again, top it off with the black or the white, and do it again. So now let's move over to the top right over here. We're gonna do a swiping technique. Once again, random colors, because you could do literally whatever you want. So you can make like squiggle lines, like, like that. You can go ahead and make, maybe you wanna just line them up and make just actual lines next to each other. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Do whatever your little heart desires. Oop, struggle bus. Uh, you can also throw black and white in here, although it's, you don't have to. Of this like magenta type color in here. What you want to do once you have that absolute mess grab your clear coat again make sure that this paint is still wet and what you want to do is you can take your hand or if you don't have gloves and you don't want to get paint on yourself what you can do is take like a piece of paper and you can just kind of like fold it up so you can swipe using this right and all you want to do is just swipe back and forth just swipe back and forth and we'll get all of those colors smushed together and it's gonna look sick it's gonna look sick now let's go ahead and move move down here to our partially off canvas. It doesn't matter. Our third planet. We're going to move to our third planet. Now you can pick, I recommend one or two colors for this. You could just do one solid color planet here, just like that. But these colors don't have to make sense. Like you don't need colors that necessarily flow together. You can, you can be random with this. 
We're not gonna do anything special or fancy down there. We're literally just gonna keep the paint down there and it's gonna look great, I promise. Same technique as the first one, except we're gonna make a specific pattern because you can do that, you can do that. So we're gonna go ahead and layer them using the same rules, lighter to darker, like a really light blue. So that's our first layer. We're gonna start with the lighter one. The purple is the darker. Top it off with either black or white. We did black before. So how about we do white this time? All right, I'm just gonna to top it off with some white. Now there's a couple of patterns that you can do here. You can go ahead and just like start folding up your paper. You, and this is gonna give us like a straight line type of pattern. In, infinite ways that you can do this really. Like you can fold this page however you want to get a specific design. All right, so you can go ahead and just like fold it up a bunch and then unravel it, uncrumple it. And what we have, it's not random wrinkles like the first time, it's a specific like line pattern. Would look really cool. However, my favorite, I'm gonna take my finger and I'm gonna stick it in the middle and then I'm gonna go ahead and just crumple the page around my finger, right? And just kind of like squeeze it down, squeeze it down. So it starts from the center and then you can see like all the lines kind of just like go outwards. It looks really cool. Anyway, we wanna make sure this paint is still wet. Those are just a couple of, of examples, but now I'm gonna put the center of that on to my planet. Pat, 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 lift it up. Instead of randomness, order. What we wanna do is our shading and our highlighting. These are just smiley faces, okay? So before we even get started on the shading and highlighting, you need to figure out where your light source is gonna be. Now for this painting, my light source is gonna be in the middle right in the middle. You can't really see that, but it's white and it's right in the middle. That's going to be our light source. The side of the planet that gets highlighted is the side that's closest to your light source. Simple, right? This side of the planet would be what gets highlighted because it's closer to the light source. This side of the planet over here is what would get the highlight because it's closest to the light source. Same thing over here and over here for this one. Shading goes on the opposite side. Right, so since the highlighting is going over here, shading would go on the opposite side. Simple, yeah. Now, if you have some sort of soft spray paint, Home Depot's uh, brand, it, it says quick color underneath all of that gunk. This is a brand, it's like two bucks a can. I recommend it for beginners. It's great for highlighting and sh shading because of how soft it is. However, you can also get soft caps if you're using some brand of paint that has compatible soft caps. I'm not using that, it's not necessary. But the key to this is you wanna find your distance. And this is gonna take some experimenting. So actually, let me move this. Let's experiment a little bit, yeah? If you hold your can too close and you spray down, you get that. That is a puddle. That, that, that is a puddle of paint. That's no good, okay? But if you start holding it farther away, that starts to, it's, it's not so rough anymore, is it? Not so rough, right? We're gonna hold it farther away again. It's almost like a cloud, super misty, okay? Every paint is gonna be different. Every brand is gonna be different. Uh, uh, and also, once again, the caps, the caps are gonna change how this feels. So you have to experiment, okay? But we wanna find our distance here. We want a cloudy look. So go ahead and find that sweet spot distance for you. Now, back to this. I'm gonna find my distance with the white and I'm gonna make smiley faces. That's all this is, right? We're gonna make smiley faces on the edge of our planet, right? Don't need to do too much. There we go, we're done with the highlighting on that planet. That was it, that was it. All right, so we can move on, on over to this bigger one. Smiley faces. Quick, quick, easy, simple. We don't need to do too much, right? We don't need to do too much. Now, if you have a smaller planet, I mean, I, I could freehand this if I wanted to, but if you have a smaller planet and freehanding your highlighting and shading seems impossible, Go ahead and grab that scrap poster, right? And go ahead and rip yourself off a piece that has a flat edge like this. Now the whole idea of this, hold on, let's move this again. The whole idea of this is we're gonna hold it and you're gonna curve it, right? So, so it almost aligns with the curvature of your planet. And the whole idea here is we're gonna spray the white here, not on the painting, but here, and it's gonna redirect a line downward. So do you see magic? This can help you get those precise shading and highlights on those small planets. Just a tip, just a tip for any of you who are going uh, going through it right now. Simple, just, if you have those smaller planets, wow, look at that, easy, easy. And then finally down here, we have our last one. Oh, we can freehand this. It's 
kind of a frowny face because I'm doing it that way, but did you get the idea? Smiley faces. We like this. We'd like to think of them as smiley faces. On the opposite side, it's the same exact thing. Smiley faces, but on the other side with black. And it's the same idea. We want to find our distance. We don't want to hold this too close because it's shading. Okay, we don't want it to be super solid. We want it to, to kind of fade, fade into the planet, shade it. All right, so I'm just gonna kind of work my way into that planet making smiley face motions. That's it, smiley face motions. So let's go ahead and move over to that top planet. So I'm gonna kind of like start in the corner here and make smiley face type motions. I went ahead and I found my distance. That works for me with this can, with this can. Now we need to do down here. It's gonna be the same idea, smiley faces. We're gonna just kind of work our way in until we got what I think is the appropriate amount of shading. Yours might be different. And then over here as well, just gonna kind of work my end with a little bit of shading. That's it. The best thing to do is let this paint dry. Now remember, heat dries paint faster. For most people in the US, it's scorching right now. We are, we are in pain, it's scorching. Okay, so the paint should dry pretty fast. However, you can also speed up this process using something like a, a blow dryer or like a heat gun. Okay, but we do wanna let this sit for a few minutes and let it dry if we want to get the best results, yeah? Once all of these are dry, you can go ahead and just place your stencils. Remember, you want to pick up a little bit of that black, a little bit of that white, and also remember we want one of these planets to be off canvas a little bit. Uh, well, I think we might have been off with the shading here, but we'll, it's, it's fine, we'll work with it, we'll deal with it. So just go ahead and place everything down. Oh, we were a little off there too. Let's see if we can fix that real quick. At this point, what you want to do is just cover cover most of this with black. Just, just cover most of it. It doesn't have to be 100% solid because we're going to throw a bunch of colors in here. Try and get most of it. Make sure to get around your stencils really nice. All right, now I want you to go ahead and pick some colors. These, once again, these don't have to make sense. If you want them to make sense and you want them to flow together, like yellow, orange, and red, you can do that. You can, you can do that. I'm not going to do that, okay? So go ahead and just pick some random colors. Um, I recommend maybe like three maybe to five i think three or four would be the sweet spot though whatever colors that you pick i want you to go ahead and order them from lightest to darkest okay now what we want to do here we want to go back remember our light source wherever your light source is for us it's going to be in the center we're going to start with our lightest color right in the center um, remember find our distance we want this to look uh like cloudy like misty almost right so i'm just going to go ahead and spray some of that of my lighter color towards the middle take my next lightest color and i'm just going to go around that first color there right i'm going to find my distance and just spray around right make like a ring i'm going to try to get around those those planets again we don't want to leave too many crazy gaps or anything like that but just throw it down now if you think that you accidentally use too much of your color or something like that that's fine okay go back with your black Okay, find your distance again, right? And just kind of throw some down, right? Dull, dull it, right, if it's too much. Get rid of some of that color. I'm gonna move on to my, my third color, my darkest color that I have here. And I'm gonna go around color number two. Same idea, we find our distance, we throw it down, throw the color down. I like to do as well with the light source, take the white, just put a little boop of white in the middle. We're gonna make some stars, right? So let's move over here. I'm gonna spray some white onto my finger Flick to the side like twice. We want to get the big nasty blobs off and then you want to bring it over here and flick onto your painting. Very simple, very simple. Easy, easy money, right? Flick to the side once or twice, flick onto your painting. Maybe you need to flick three times. It probably just depends on what paint that you have. For me, two flicks to the side seems to be it. Seems to be where I get the best results. And also, so if we want to do like a, like a more of like a bigger star right here in the middle. Someone was calling it the North, North Star earlier in, in, uh, in our live class. So one thing you can go about this, you can get a straight edge. You can get like an actual putty knife, like an actual straight edge. Or you can go ahead and just get a piece of poster board. This one's pretty straight, flat edge, right? And we're gonna do the same thing before, right? We're gonna spray the white here, not here, here. And we're gonna hold it just straight up and down. Look, we have a line. And then we can cross it over. Look, we have another line. Incredible, right? And you can go ahead and like throw an X within the cross or a cross within the X, whatever way that you're looking at it. And then I like to just kind of put that little boop in the middle. Go ahead and just take off all these stencils. All these stencils. 
two things you can use here for the ring. Angled palette knife. The, this is what's by far gonna give you the best results. Or grab a poster board, grab that scrap poster and tear yourself off a little piece that has a flat edge. Right, now how wide you want this to be depends on how wide you want your rings to be here. Take my clear coat and I'm just gonna spray this area here where the ring is gonna be. Now we're only gonna do this halfway because this can be a little tricky, right? We're not gonna do, uh, this is why we put it off canvas a little bit, right? Best piece of advice that I can give here is to full send it. Slow and steady, bunch of bullshit. We do, full send it, okay? So we're gonna go to one side of this planet and it's gonna be a swoosh. Just a swish, and you just, just go for it. We're gonna swish right across our circle here. So maybe right about here, swish. I think we need a little bit more clear coat there. It's pretty, pretty dark, but there we go. Just a little swish. And because we have that, that off canvas a little bit, we don't have to do the other side, which is what makes this so beginner, which makes that so beginner friendly. But once you're done, that's it, that's the, that's the painting. So we're gonna take our clear coat, whoops, clear coat, give it a nice layer, give it a nice even layer. You wanna go ahead and sign your name, but give it a nice squiggle right underneath. Wow, look at it, look at it, look at it shine. Right, this works with any color. This is probably my favorite technique to do because of how random you can be and how good it looks in the end. Regardless, we practice our rings, we did our classic, right? The classic technique. Uh, we did a special little pattern. I think we did pretty good, yeah? We did pretty good. If you guys have any questions, let me know and I'll do my best to answer them.